of the O great apostle and evangelist, doth the Holy Church chant today in orthodox manner, inspired and nourished by the immortal words of thy gospel, and uplifted thereby in spirit, we cry out in thanksgiving. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Having forsaken thy customs house, when summoned by the Lord, thou didst labor tirelessly for him as an apostle, O Matthew, and didst describe in writing his mighty works. Wherefore, with compunction, we cry out to thee. Rejoice, O divinely wise disciple of the Lord, who didst record his descent from David the king. Rejoice, thou who didst proclaim his nativity in the flesh. Rejoice, thou who bearest witness concerning the ministry of his honorable forerunner. Rejoice, thou who didst subscribe the Spirit who at his baptism in the Jordan descended on him. Rejoice, thou who didst recount his, recount his forty day fast in the wilderness. Rejoice, thou who didst tell how he prevailed over Satan the tempter. Rejoice, thou who didst describe the summoning of his disciples. Rejoice, thou who didst set forth the Beatitudes. Rejoice, thou who didst faithfully record his parables and teachings. Rejoice, thou who didst tell of the manifold wondrous cures he wrought. Rejoice, thou who didst bear witness that the power of the Lord rested upon his followers. Rejoice, for Christ sent thee forth as a sheep among wolves. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. O oh, the transformation of thy life and ways, for when the Savior called thee to his ministry, O holy Matthew, thou didst straightway rise up, forsake the former, thy former greed and avarice, and follow him after him, to whom we all cry out in praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Levying the taxes of brutal overlords upon thine oppressed and downtrodden people, Thou didst corruptly enrich thyself by exhortation and bribery, extortion and bribery, but when the light of the world shone upon thee, thy soul was transfixed, and thou didst rise forthwith to join the band of the Lord's disciples, wherefore in gladness we cry out to thee such things as these. Rejoice, for with the other apostles thou wast wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Rejoice, for as the Lord foretold, ye were delivered up to the counsels of men. Rejoice, for they scourged you in their synagogue. synagogues. Rejoice, for ye were brought before kings and governors for his sake. Rejoice, for the Spirit of God the Father spake within thee. Rejoice, for thou didst endure to the end. Rejoice, for what Jesus told thee in darkness thou hast spoken in the light. Rejoice, for thou hast no fear over those who destroy the body. Rejoice, for thou didst take up thy cross and follow thy master. Rejoice, for in losing thy life for his sake thou didst find it in paradise. Rejoice, for having labored and been heavy laden thou hast received rest. Rejoice, for thou didst shoulder the easy yoke of the Lord. Rejoice, O holy Matthew who has given us the words of salvation. Ye Orthodox Christians, come and chant in jubilation to the Lord, who, when he visited the house of Matthew, his disciple, rebuked those who, who approached him for dining with sinners and tax collectors, saying, I am come not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, and ever mindful of our own sins and his infinite compassion, with compunction, let us all cry out to Christ, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Most highly favored by Christ our God was Matthew, for the Lord deigned to number him among his twelve closest followers, with Peter and Andrew, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, Simon, Thaddeus, James, son of Alphaeus, and Judas the betrayer, and gave him power to cast out demons and to heal every sickness and disease. 
Wherefore, marveling at the power of the divine grace, which abode within him, we cry, Rejoice, thou who didst go forth to minister to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Rejoice, thou who didst preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Rejoice, thou who by the power of God didst heal the sick. Rejoice, thou who by his grace didst cleanse the lepers. Rejoice, thou who by his name didst restore the dead to life. Rejoice, thou who didst expel unclean spirits from the possessed. Rejoice, for as thou freely receive, so didst thou freely give. Rejoice, for with no provision, save the Lord's command, thou didst set forth to do his will. Rejoice, for as a true disciple, thou wast like thy teacher. Rejoice, for as a faithful servant, thou wast like thy Lord. Rejoice, for thou... For through thee hath the Lord revealed unto us, as to babes, what he hath hidden from the wise and prudent. Rejoice, for thou camest to know the Father, as the Son revealed him to thee. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. All throughout Galilee and Judea, thou didst follow thy Master, as he imparted unto his people his immortal teachings, that they might live righteously and treat all men as brethren, and thus, by his grace and loving kindness, might be brought to life everlasting. Wherefore, mindful of the hardships thou didst endure in the service of the Lord, we chant unto him, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Thou didst traverse the lands of Israel with the Savior, and didst lay up in thy heart all that he had said and did for the salvation of mankind, O holy apostle. And thou wast with him when he journeyed to Jerusalem, there to be arrested, scourged, and mocked, brought to trial, and condemned to die on the cross. Wherefore, filled with awe by thine account of the saving death and glorious resurrection of our Lord, we cry to thee. Rejoice for the people who sat in darkness saw a great light. Rejoice for light spring forth for those who languish in the shadow of death. Rejoice for thou didst not hide the lamp of our Savior under a bushel. Rejoice for in thy gospel thou didst set it forth like a candle upon a candle stand to give light unto thee. Rejoice for thy light has shown before men that they have seen thy good works. Rejoice for thy they glorify the heavenly Father for thee. Rejoice for thou didst do and teach the commandments of the Lord. Rejoice for thou art now called the great in the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice for thou didst truly love thine enemies. Rejoice for thou didst bless those who curse thee. Rejoice, for thou didst do good to those who hated thee. Rejoice, for thou didst pray for those who despitefully used thee. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. The Lord's disciples, among them thy holy Matthew, in fear of the Jews, concealed themselves in the upper room where Christ had performed the Eucharist. But in manner, past understanding, he appeared in their midst, even though the doors were locked, assuring them that he was not a specter, but the living God. Wherefore, giving thanks to the divine Logos for assuming our humanity and deifying it, we cry unto him, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Having opened your minds that you may understand the scriptures, the Lord Jesus commanded thee, O holy Matthew, and thy fellow apostles to go forth and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And as he blessed you, he departed from you and ascended into heaven, wherefore he sitteth at the right hand of the unoriginate Father, wherefore offer unto thee these praises. Rejoice, for thou didst ask, and it was given unto thee. Rejoice, for seeking thou didst find that for which thou didst search. Rejoice, for thou didst knock, and it was opened unto thee. 
Rejoice for what thou didst desire that men do, thou didst teach them by thine example. Rejoice for thou didst enter in by the narrow gate which leadeth to life. Rejoice for thou didst avoid the wild gate which that leadeth to destruction. Rejoice for thou didst take the hard way which brought thee to, to salvation. Rejoice for thou didst burn the broad path whose end is damnation. Rejoice for as a fertile tree planted by the Lord thou didst yield good fruit. Rejoice for by thy fruits do we know thee. Rejoice for, as di for thou didst do the will of the heavenly Father that how in hath entered into paradise. Rejoice, for like the Son of Man, thou hast nowhere to lay thy head. Rejoice, O holy Matthew. Who Eternal life and the things of the kingdom did the risen Savior teach the honorable Matthew and his followers during the forty days after his resurrection, before he ascended from the Mount of Olives and was concealed from the disciples by a cloud. But heeding his words, thou didst tarry in Jerusalem, with the rest until the Son had promised, the Father sent down upon them the Holy Spirit, to whom we chant, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. While waiting in the upper room, thou didst continue in prayer with the other followers of Christ, his all-pure mother and his kinfolk. The feast of Pentecost arrived. Then a sound from heaven like unto a rushing mighty wind filled the chamber, and tongues of fire appeared and rested upon you all. And ye were filled with the Holy Spirit, who taught you every human tongue, that ye might bear witness to the salvation wrought by God, even unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Wherefore, in joy and gladness, we say to thee, Rejoice, for like the sower in the parable that didst go forth to the gospel of Christ, like, like a seed upon the fertile field. Rejoice for the, thy, thy glad tidings fell like seed upon rich soil and produced a bountiful harvest. Rejoice for thy preaching was like unto a grain of mustard which, which grew into a plant of great height. Rejoice for thy writings were like unto the leaven which, when added, when added to the flower of humanity, humanity hath increased the church of Christ. Rejoice for thou wast like a merchant who when he found a bread of great price, sold all he had and bought it. Rejoice, for thou didst lay up the teachings of the Lord into the treasury of thy heart, like costly pearls and jewels in a coffer. Rejoice, for when the Lord calmed the raging sea, thou and the others in the ship cried out, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. Rejoice, for thou didst embrace the confession of the holy apostle Peter, who cried out, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Rejoice, for obedient to the Savior, thou didst deny thyself, and take up thy cross and follow him. Rejoice, for in losing thy life for his sake, thou didst save it. Rejoice, for thou didst turn away from thy former sinful ways. Rejoice, for having become as a little child, thou hast entered into the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Perceiving the ignorance of men and desiring that for their instruction and edification, all might come to know of the Messiah and his great sacrifice for the redemption of men. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, thou didst relate in thy gospel that the mighty works of the Lord our God, to whom all Christians cry, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Receiving Ethiopia as thy portion when the apostles and the mother of God cast lots for the parts of the world, they were to evangelize, thou didst straightway arise, and with thy companion Plato, didst set forth to undertake the conversions of that benighted land to belief in Christ, which holy task the Lord assisted by giving thee a miraculous staff, which when planted in the ground, grew straightway into a lofty tree, laden with goodly fruits, pouring forth at its root a healing spring of pure water, wherefore we cry out to thee. Rejoice, Rejoice for thou hast, as thou became as like an innocent child, 
Thine angel ever beheld the countenance of God. Rejoice, for through thee the Son of Man has saved those who, who were lost. Rejoice, for whatsoever thou didst find on earth was found in heaven. Rejoice, for whatsoever didst lose on earth was loosed in paradise. Rejoice, for thou didst sell what thou hast, give to the poor, and win treasure on high. Rejoice, for thy words and writings thou didst teach that what is not possible for men is possible with God. Rejoice, for according to the Lord's saying, thou shalt be seated on a throne at the end of time. Rejoice, for with the other apostles thou shalt sit in judgment over the twelve tribes of Israel when he shall come in glory. Rejoice, for as thou didst not exalt thyself among men, thou wast not abased. Rejoice, for as thou didst humble thyself before others, thou wast exalted. Rejoice, for Christ foretold that they would be delivered up to be afflicted and slain. Rejoice, for even amid tortures thou didst preach the gospel of the kingdom to the Gentiles. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Although thou didst heal his wife and son who were possessed by evil spirits, Fulvian, who was ruled in Ethiopia, grew wroth and jealousy against thee. O Matthew, for all the people followed thee and were baptized, but the soldiers were dispatched to arrest thee. Some were covered with darkness, and others were dazzled by divine light, casting away their weapons as they fled. Wherefore unto Christ, the dispeller of darkness and bestower of light, we cry, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Yet more wroth did Fulvian grow when his minions failed to carry out his will, and raging he set forth with a multitude of servants to arrest the Holy One himself. But when he approached the man of God, he was struck blind, so that someone had to guide him. Yet merciful and compassionate Matthew took pity on him, and restored his sight. Wherefore, marveling at his loving kindness, we cry unto him. Rejoice, for thy gospel hath the Lord saying been fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not. Rejoice, thou who, like the wise virgins, filled the lamp of thy soul with the oil of good works. Rejoice, thou who, with the wedding guests, hath in entered into the marriage chamber of Christ the Bridegroom. Rejoice, thou whose wedding dust you was dyed in the blood of thy martyrdom. Rejoice, for thou didst increase the talents which the Savior entrusted to you. Rejoice, for having been given grace from on high, thou, thou hast this had the gifts of the Spirit in abundance. Rejoice, for in that thou was blessed by the Heavenly Father, thou hast inherited his kingdom. Rejoice, for with, for with the righteous thou hast entered into ever life everlasting. Rejoice, for with the rest of the apostles thou didst sit with Christ at the last supper. Rejoice, for thou didst receive from his hand his precious body. Rejoice, for thou didst drain the cup of his precious blood. Rejoice, for thou hast taught all nations that this Eucharist is a sacrifice made for many for the remission of men's sins. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Fulvian regained his sight through the supplications of the holy apostle, but the prince's malice against him in no wise abated, and he brought the saint to the place of execution where he committed him to the fire of a sorcerer, but through the flames rose up to a great height, and all thought that the apostle must surely have perished. He was seen standing, alive and unharmed, and in the midst of the ashes, praying and glorifying God, to whom we all cry, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O oh, the long suffering of the holy apostle, for when the prince commanded that a second fire be kindled over the saint, as set round about the pyre his idols of gold, praying for them to destroy Matthew, the flames of the fire reached out at the entreaty of the holy one and surrounded the graven images, and they melted in the heat thereof. 
Wherefore, as thou didst reveal to the pagans the impotence of their false gods, we cry unto thee. Rejoice, for in Gethsemane Christ admonished thee to watch and pray. Rejoice, for thou didst record that all Christ said, and endured that the scriptures might be fulfilled. Rejoice, for through thou, thou didst flee with the others at his arrest. The Lord appeared to thee also after his resurrection. Rejoice, for Christ, who was crucified, died, and was buried, gave thee the power to bind and loose the sins of men. Rejoice, for God sent his own Holy Spirit upon thee. Rejoice, for thou didst show justice to the nations. Rejoice, for thou didst into count, deliver countless souls from damnation. Rejoice, for thou didst cast out of men the demons who afflicted them. Rejoice, for in papyrus and in ink thou didst contain the immaterial fire of the word. Rejoice, for with great labor thou didst set forth the words of salvation. Rejoice, O deaf hand, described, inspired from on high. Rejoice, thou who is binding thy book, despite the heretics. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Repenting sorely of his error, Fulvian sought to entice thee from the ashes of fire, that he might render honor unto thee. But using the words that the Lord had uttered on the cross, thou didst cry out with a loud voice, O Lord, into thy hands do I commit my soul, and thus didst surrender thy life unto him. Wherefore, marveling at the glory that thou hast attained among the choirs of the saints and angels, we all cry out to God, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Still uncertain was Fulvian of the sanctity and power of the holy evangelist, and he commanded that a coffin of iron be made ready, and the precious body of the saint be sealed therein, and cast into the depths of the sea. But the apostle appeared in a dream to Bishop Plato, his disciple, and commanded him to take up the sacred relics which had miraculously floated to the shore of the sea in their iron coffin. Wherefore unto him do we address these hymns. Rejoice, O thou who, for whom the kingdom of heaven was like a treasure. Rejoice, O thou who shot forth like the sun in the realm of the Father. Rejoice, O thou who like a fisherman didst cast thy net into the sea of humanity. Rejoice, O thou who there and didst gather a great draught of men's souls. Rejoice, O thou who didst declare unto all the glad tidings of the coming of the Messiah. Rejoice, O thou who didst write down thy gospel and all that all men might understand. Rejoice, for the words of our redemption proceed from thy mouth. Rejoice, for thy teachings wash away the defilements of men. Rejoice, for thy doctrines are the foundation of our faith. Rejoice, for in thy scriptures thou didst record what Christ said and did. Rejoice for the Lord's miracles which thou didst relate our past understanding. Rejoice for his parables recorded by thee are full of edification. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. All the people and with them their ruler approached the sacred body of the evangelist with fear and trembling, loudly proclaiming that Christ our God is the one true God who brought his faithful servant through the trials of fire and water. Then F Fulvian, full of remorse, fell down before the coffin of the saint and besought his forgiveness and was converted and baptized and given the new name Matthew, whereupon he destroyed all the idols of that land and taught his nation to sing and worship to the Trinity. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The blessed Bishop Plato again received a vision of the Holy Matthew, wherein the saint foretold that hierarch sin and ordered him to ordain the newly baptized Matthew as his son as priest and deacon and before the bishops proposed in three years' time, again at the saint's command, Matthew was also ordered to the episcopate, wherein he labored well in the vineyard of Christ, wherefore the apostle heareth, 
from us such things as these. Rejoice, Rejoice initiate of supernatural mysteries divine. Rejoice for thou didst teach the people to praise the Lord. Rejoice for thou didst offer unto him the bloodless sacrifice. Rejoice thou who didst unite them with the Godhead through the all pure body and blood of Christ. Rejoice thou who didst convert the unbelieving to piety. Rejoice thou who guided by the Spirit didst bring all Ethiopia to the faith. Rejoice for the stream of thy teachings was like the mighty Nile. Rejoice for they have filled the whole world like the flooding of a great river. Rejoice for thy words carry life unto the dry and barren waste of our souls. Rejoice for enriched by the grace which is thine thy gospel. Men's souls blossom forth for their creator. Rejoice for they bear fruit a hundredfold for the heavenly husbandmen. Rejoice, for when they are harvested, they are laid up in the granaries of heaven. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Throughout the rest of his life, guided by thee from on high, O Apostle of Christ, the holy Bishop Matthew strove to spread the marvelous tidings of the coming of our Savior, his wondrous advent, sublime teachings, miraculous works, salvific sufferings, and glorious death and resurrection. And the Lord blessed his apostolic labors so that they bore fruit, and the holy Orthodox faith was, faith was established throughout that land among all the people. Wherefore we cry out to God, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Having passed from this transitory life to that which is everlasting in heaven, O Saint of Christ, thou dost watch over the church of Ethiopia, which thou hast founded by the grace of all Holy Spirit, and thou likewise regardest all faithful Orthodox Christians with thy compassionate eye, healing their sicknesses, and heeding the entreaties they offer unto thee in time of tribulation and misfortune. Wherefore thou hearest from us such praises as these. Rejoice, O glorious apostle, chosen apostle of Christ. Rejoice, O marvelous healer of all manner of diseases. Rejoice, O wondrous apostle, who in obedience to God didst forsake thy native land. Rejoice, O marvelous disciple of the Lord, made perfect by the power of the Spirit divine. Rejoice, O thou who didst mistake thyself to a land beset by spiritual darkness. Rejoice, O thou who didst bring light to a people that languished in the shadow of death. Rejoice, for by thee they were illumined with the uncreated light of thy God. Rejoice, for thou through, through thee, thee they, they did come into fellowship with Christ. Rejoice, O thou whom the Savior sent to bring his salvation to the ends of the earth. Rejoice, O thou who didst declare his glory to the multitudes. Rejoice, for in thine apostolic labors thou didst reap a great harvest for thy master. Rejoice, O thou who was a true and faithful steward of his inheritance. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Every true Christian is filled with joy and gladness on hearing the words of the Holy Spirit. All Holy Spirit of God, inspire thee to record, O holy apostle and evangelist Matthew, and move to jubilation by the glad tidings of thy gospel. We all cry out in praise and thanksgiving unto the one God in three persons. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Every true Christian is filled with joy and gladness on hearing the words which the All Holy Spirit of God inspired thee to record, O Holy Apostle and Evangelist Matthew, and moved to jubilation by the glad tidings of thy gospel, we all cry out in praise and thanksgiving unto the one God in three persons. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Every true Christian is filled with joy and gladness on hearing the words of the all true Holy Spirit of God inspired to thee record, O holy apostle evangelist Matthew, and moved to jubilation by the glad tidings of thy gospel. 
We all cry out in praise and thanksgiving unto the one God in three persons. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Having forsaken thy customs, having forsaken thy customs house when summoned by the Lord, thou didst labor tirelessly for him as an apostle of Matthew, and didst describe in writing his mighty works, wherefore with compunction we cry out to thee. Rejoice, O divinely wise disciple of the Lord, who didst record the descent from David the King. Rejoice, thou who didst proclaim his nativity in the flesh. Rejoice, thou who bearest witness concerning the ministry of his honorable forerunner. Rejoice, thou who didst describe the Spirit, who at his baptism in the Jordan descended on him. Rejoice, thou who didst recount his forty-day fast in the wilderness. Rejoice, thou who didst tell how he prevailed over Satan the tempter. Rejoice, thou who didst describe the summoning of his disciples. Rejoice, thou who didst set forth the Beatitudes. Rejoice, thou who didst faithfully record his parables and teachings. Rejoice, thou who didst tell of the manifold wondrous cures he wrought. Rejoice, thou who didst bear witness that the power of the Lord rested upon his followers. Rejoice, for Christ sent thee forth as a sheep among the wolves. Rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. Of thee, O great apostle and evangelist, doth the holy church chant today in orthodox banner, inspired and nourished by the immortal words of thy gospel, and uplifted whereby in spirit we cry out to thee, in thanksgiving, rejoice, O holy Matthew, who has given us the words of salvation. With compunction of heart, let us all entreat the holy apostle and evangelist Matthew, who, when called by the Lord to his service, cast away all covetousness and avarice and forsake all that he possessed, that he might sit at the Savior's feet and imbibe his ineffable teachings and let us offer to him supplications when we are beset by affliction and distress, crying out to him amid the pain of our souls and bodies, O Holy One, look down from heaven and see how we are oppressed by the demonic powers and the wicked men who do their bidding, for they seek our death and damnation Wherefore come thou quickly to our aid as a mighty ally, repelling their crafty assaults and putting them utterly to flight, that preserved by thee in peace and tranquility of heart, we may all adore the one true God who worshiped in Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, to whom be glory, honor, and worship, now and for endless ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. 